We have the Simpsons predictions for 2024. Now we know Simpsons has predicted a couple other things that we've seen come to fruition, like Donald Trump being president and a lot of other things. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Let's see what they're predicting for 2024. And with each prediction, we're going to we're gonna comment below whether we believe it's actually going to come about. Let's get straight into this. Everybody knows The Simpsons. It's literally one of the longest running series in the United States. But beyond the satire, the chaos, and the dysfunctional family with their crazy adventures, there is a dark secret. For many years, The Simpsons seem to have dropped predictions and prophecies that have proven to be very accurate. From the predictions of the 2020 COVID-19 outbreak to the rise of Kamala Harris as the first black female vice president, the Simpsons have operated on an unprecedented level of accuracy. So what do they have to say about the year 2024? Get ready to be amazed as we examine 17 shocking predictions that The Simpsons have predicted for 2024. Number 17, Trump's 2024 presidential ambition. Are the writers and producers of The Simpsons experimenting with dark magic? Do they have a crystal ball through which they can accurately see into the future? Because they always seem to get their predictions right. And this is very, very strange, Bro, to say the least. It's probably that and, like, they're friends with the elites. And we know that the elites control a lot of what goes on when it comes to politics or even world events. Although, as you may already know, this cartoon series has made many astounding prophecies that came to pass, evoking awe and wonder in the hearts and minds of everyone. However, these guys decided to kick it up a notch, and their most dramatic one yet would be the prediction of Trump's 2024 presidential ambition. In order to make America great and glorious I again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. On Tuesday, November 15, 2022, the former President of the United States States Donald Trump, arguably one of the most controversial the country has ever seen, depending on whose side you're on, decided it was time to reclaim the throne he lost 2021. But just as I promised, I am your voice. In his usual grandiose fashion, Trump took to the stage and proclaimed his ambition with these iconic words. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. That was when the screenwriter for the series, Al Jean, decided it was their time to shine again. Sharing a scene from a 2015 episode of the animated series, Mr. Jean showed the world that somehow they had predicted this way Whoa, before what? Trump ever declared his intentions. In the 2015 episode, episode titled Bart to the Future. Homer Simpson can be seen as he seems to fly past a sign in the background, which read Trump 2024. Coincidence? This was even before Trump was ever president. So this revelation has been driving everyone crazy online. But as crazy as this prediction is, this next one takes it to another level. Number 16, AI robots take over. Apart from the wild antics of the characters in this show, and the fact that The Simpsons is a really good series, which depends entirely on your preference, one major thing that has made it a fan favorite is the seemingly accurate predictions. This one is even stranger than the first. Although the show is reputed for predicting the advent of many innovative technological gadgets, you will agree that this one is too accurate to be more than just a coincidence. Let us take you on a journey back to episode 17 of the series' 23rd season. In this episode, there's a scene where Homer lost his job due to the fact that his employer replaced all the human employees with robots. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the future masters of the human race. Ah! Sounds familiar? You fool, these are robots. Well, considering the astronomical strides that have been made in robotics and the development of artificial intelligence, could it be possible that in the near future, maybe even 2024, humans will begin to lose their jobs to artificially intelligent That's insane, robots? That's insane, because I even know of a movie called iRobot that shows the takeover of robots. And before it was like so far-fetched, this was like in the early 2000s. But that's also coming to fruition also. We have robots and then we also have artificial intelligence. They are gonna start moving like humans. We'll train them and they will replace you. As it stands now, you've probably heard of robots serving as waiters in Japan and all around the world. Is this the end of human labor as we know it? Or are we all just panicking too much about the threat of a robotic takeover? Hopefully, this never happens. But in case it does, the Simpsons will be glad to tell the world, we told you so. Number 15, Mars Takeover. 
This next one is actually very freakish and will have you wondering if the scripts for this series were written by aliens or something, because the resemblance to real life events is absolutely uncanny. In case you don't believe it, let us take you to episode 6 of season 27 of the series. In this episode, Lisa learns that the government was looking for volunteers who were willing to sign up for a migration to Mars. And become the first residents of another world. Will you be one of them? Yeah, who would move to Mars? Would you move to Mars? Enthusiastically, like she if, volunteered. If you were able to live on Mars, like seriously speaking, like if you were able to take a spaceship, say like the flight is maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know, 16 hours or so, or maybe 24, or just give it 36, whatever. But if you were able to comfortably live on Mars, would you move to a whole nother planet? Sheesh. I'm, I'm comfortable so did the over rest here. of the family. The rest of the episode had them going on some water. wacky, crazy adventures. But at the end of the day, their vehicle refused to start, and they ended up going nowhere. But that's not the end. This eerie episode ends with a glimpse into the year 2051, where Marge and Lisa were now living on Mars. If this doesn't sound like anything you've heard in recent times, then you may have been living under a rock. Everybody knows about Elon Musk's plans to colonize the Red Planet. Elon Musk? I'm in charge of the whole Mars colonization project. He has been going on and on about it for years, and even established his own private space exploration company for that sole purpose. Why do the dates scheduled for the Mars launch in this Simpsons episode have a striking resemblance to Elon Musk's plans? Is there something the writers and producers are hiding from us? For now, we will agree that it's all coincidence, but this sort of coincidence is sure to raise many, many questions in the minds of anyone who has seen this episode. Number 14. Virtual Reality Food Yes, you heard that right. Strange as it seems, there is an episode of The Simpsons where the characters feast on a Ain't delicacy no way, of digital food. Ain't no oh, way. Way. How is this possible, you ask? See for yourself in this spectacular episode which features a scene where Homer and Marge can be seen feeding virtual fudge through a straw on the back of their virtual reality headsets. While this remains one of the wildest predictions made in this show, there might be a little element of reality to it. Before you discard this one as something that can never ever happen, allow us to introduce you to Aero Banquet's RMX, a culinary experience like you've never had before. Forget the fine dining of luxurious exclusive fancy restaurants and explore what it would feel like to dine in the digital world. Although virtual reality companies have made giant strides in several fields, including gaming, art, and even real estate, but this, this is something absolutely fascinating. According to the people behind this strange experiment, the aim of the project is to reframe the human perceptions and change the way we experience food. Could we be looking at such an experience becoming commonplace in 2024? Guess we'll have to wait and see. This virtual fudge what? tastes like crap. Number 13, baby translator. Would you like to know exactly know. what you're doing? I don't, I don't think virtual food would ever happen. Like, virtual food? That doesn't really make sense to me. But at this point, they over here producing, like, chicken out of one cell and then feeding it to the public. But I'm not, I'm not going to be doing no virtual food. I like nice organic Food, or real. toddler needs whenever they go on a crying spree then this next invention is just for you okay okay this one is pretty cool but why did the simpsons seem to have known about this invention way before we did also what exactly is a baby translator well it is exactly what the name says a device that can finally solve the age-long mystery of what babies really want my baby translator <laughs> lavish attention on me and entertain me <gasps> Maggie, you talk. In episode 24 of the third season of the series, titled Brother, Can You Spare Two Dimes, Herb Powell, Homer's half-brother, invents this magical device that could translate baby talk into actual speech. Pretty fascinating, right? But could such a device be replicated in the real world? Or is it just a fantastic idea that would never materialize? For most of you oh, saying no. no, it can never be made into a real gadget, guess you didn't really read the title of this video now, did you? Because a company called Zoundream has finally built a machine that will blow your mind. The Swiss software company claims to have developed a fascinating piece of technology known as that harnesses the power of artificial intelligence to determine what exactly babies want when they cry. Do they need comfort? Are they hungry? Or do they just want you to get your ugly uncle off their faces? You will be able to accurately determine what exactly your baby wants in a very near future, maybe even 2023. Now the big question is, did art imitate life or did life imitate art? We'll leave that for you to decide. That makes Number sense. Number 12. 
female presidency. But like to have the to have a baby still, it's like I always wonder, like, what does a baby think? Like, how do you think as a baby? Because you can't think in words. Like, they don't know words. I wonder, like, how do they even process anything? Bro, boggles my mind to this day. Is the United States of America ready to put a woman on the highest seat in the country? Are we ready for a female president? While there are no questions about the effectiveness of a female president, as women have proven themselves exceptional in the field of politics many, many times, the political landscape of the United States is filled with so many men that very few women have been able to walk through the corridors of power that leads to the White House. But do the Simpsons care about all this technical politicking? Not really. In the episode Back to the Future, Lisa becomes the first female President of the United States of America. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. In the episode, the country had gone broke due to the terrible financial decisions made by the fictional President Trump, and Lisa had to bring a tax hike to straighten things out a little. But with the 2024 elections coming up, maybe the Simpsons are ready to strike again. Many people claim that this one in particular has already been fulfilled following the advent of Kamala Harris as the first black female vice president of the United States. But could we take it a step further? Could we be looking at the possibility of having a woman in the Oval Office? Once again, we'll have to wait and see. Number 11, Black Hole. Here's something that will definitely spook you out of your mind. We travel back to the 24th season of this show, and this time around, we're looking at the second episode, which aired on March 24, 2013, titled Treehouse of Horror 23. This episode follows the adventure of this dysfunctional family as they try to escape the wrath of a mysterious black hole, which threatens to swallow the entire Springfield into a world of darkness and nothingness. After accidentally creating this Kinda terrifying like cosmic demon, Lisa takes it home to keep everyone safe from it. But as you already know, whenever the Simpsons are involved, chaos most definitely ensues. At the end of the day, the black hole eventually sucked all of Springfield, leaving Maggie alone in the ruined town. Now, while this is most definitely a work of fiction, many are worried that we could be on the edge of a catastrophic natural event, the likes of which our world has never experienced before. Although, according to scientists, the closest black hole to our planet is located some 1,560 light years away, so there's really no chance this could happen happen, but it's the Simpsons, and some of their most unprecedented prophecies have come to pass. So, should we be scared? Is 2024 the year of the end of the world as we know it? Yeah, nah. Number 10, Hover Cars of the Future. You've probably seen this one in many sci-fi, futuristic movies, but The Simpsons did it happening. even better. In episode 15 of season 16 of The Simpsons, titled Future Drama, Bart and Lisa see the future of the family, and what they saw was truly astonishing. In this supposed future, Home and Bart travel around in style as they cruise through the streets in their hover cars. With no tires, these bad boys can go anywhere, and the reference is a play on a technology that has been in research and development for many years, but could 2024 be the year we finally get to see the hover car? Before you dismiss this idea as wishful thinking, consider this. A company named Samson Sky, which is based in Oregon, is expected to begin deliveries of its switchblade flying car in 2024. The car has been in development for 14 years, and finally they are not just ready to showcase it to the whole world, but also to begin delivery to their customers. Finally, you can beat the stubborn traffics and avoid road rage what? by soaring high in the skies. But the big question <laughs> is, crazy. would you also need a pilot license along with your driver's license to be able to operate this vehicle? We'll leave that for you to argue out. Number nine, hologram technology. I'm going to have to get one These of those days, flying technology joints, is moving you know what I'm a... saying? Forget the worries. I'm going to be flying over your whip. A fast pace most of us can't keep up but the simpsons they're miles ahead of us in one of these episodes bart takes a look into the future through one of professor frink's thingamajig and what he saw might just be a prophecy of things to come hologram for bart simpson in this supposed future a deadbeat bart receives a hologram message inviting his band to a gig at the club Hey, Dingus, your band can play at my club tonight. But how did the Simpsons develop the idea of the widespread use of the hologram technology? And could 2024 be the year when holograms become as commonplace as the cell phone? Maybe Doesn't, that's a huge that leap, but exist? you get the idea. The as hologram. it stands now, the world has already been blessed with a fancy technology known as the Dreamic HD3 holograms. This fascinating three-sided holographic display case can show a 3D image of anyone and anything from anywhere in the world. 
world. Imagine sitting in your room and watching your boyfriend teach you the latest TikTok dance from way over there on the other side of the world. How cool would that be? While this amazing technology is only available in about 500 Best Buy stores nationwide, could we be looking at a more widespread use and maybe Let's even go. a decompression of the platform within the year 2024? Sounds pretty ambitious, but if it ends up coming to pass, we'll always remember The Simpsons did it first. Number 8. Ivanka Trump's Presidency are the writers of The Simpsons obsessed with Donald Trump and his family? Before you answer this, consider the fact that in an episode of the series, which aired in October 2016, the writers dropped a subtle hint suggesting that Ivanka Trump, the daughter of the former U.S. President Donald Trump, would run for president. In this episode, Homer Simpson can be seen wearing a badge that said Ivanka 2028. Could this be another accurate prediction made by this series? I'll Although Ivanka that. Trump has solidified her status nah. as an imposing figure in the political landscape of the United States is the possibility of a presidency feasible. But that wasn't the first time Ivanka made an appearance on the show, at least her character did. She was happening. also featured in a 2017 episode where she replaced Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court while modeling a robe and earrings from her collection. Would an Ivanka Trump run for presidency come as a shock to you? We'll also leave that for you guys to argue out. Number I'm seven. not gonna lie, Trump's daughter kind of, you know what I'm saying? She look good. <laughs> Trump's daughter pretty. Run for presidency come as a shock to you? We'll also leave that for you guys to argue out. Number seven, AI goes rogue. With the recent massive development in the world of artificial intelligence, are we really sure that we are not empowering technology to take us out? Could we find ourselves at the mercy of our own creations in the near future? Before you dismiss this as an irrational fear propagated by conspiracy theorists, you should listen to this former Google chief engineer who lost his job after revealing to the world that the company's latest artificial intelligence had become sentient. There are similarities between how Lambda thinks and how people think. Or how humans think this meant that it had evolved on its own and was able to feel things now that's super freakish in the past this would have been dismissed as pure lies but coming from a man like blake lemoyne who was a high-ranking engineer at google before his appointment was terminated everyone sat up and listened but we were forewarned by the simpsons in the 1994 episodes titled itchy what? and scratchy land the family visited a spooky version of disneyland which was fully staffed by robots as the scenes unfolded the robots went haywire and began to murder every Everyone. While the possibility of this could be well far off from 2024, it raises a huge concern about how far we are willing to go with artificial intelligence. If this human creation evolves to a point where humanity becomes a bother, where do we run to? Number 6. Music-Induced Mind Control the government is trying to control oh, you through a series of subconscious processes. Family, we already know how this works. They've been doing this for the longest. That's why all the music is the way it is. This was the message many people got from the 14th episode of The Simpsons' 12th season. But can we really blame anyone for overthinking The Simpsons' predictions? After all, they've been right so many times. In this particular episode, a music producer selects Bart, Nelson, Milhouse, and Ralph to form the next hit boy band party posse. Sick name, right? But beneath the surface, there was a diabolical plan at play. In their hit song, Dropped a Bomb, which was accompanied by a music video that featured the strange line, Even Eat Neo J in the chorus. Chorus. Party Posse subconsciously controlled the minds of the listeners, passing a subliminal message. When you spell this strange line backwards, it reads, Join the Navy. As the music spread wow. far and wide, it began to take effect on the entire population of Springfield. During a confrontation with the wow. music director, Lisa discovered that he was indeed a Navy lieutenant. And mm -hmm. according to him, music had long been used to recruit young men into the military. This was especially true during the Second World War, that is, in the real world. During the war, the United States sought to weaponize entertainment as a form of propaganda, citing cinema as one of the most powerful propaganda weapons at the disposal of the United States. That indeed is a direct quote from the Office of Strategic Services, now known as the CIA. Many people have also been raising questions about the nature of music in this age, with catchy repetitive lyrics and hypnotic tunes. Have we been silently controlled by the government for many years, unknown to us? Will we see this play out even more in 2024? This topic has been a gold mind for conspiracy theorists who exploit the opportunity of such a discourse to showcase their many theories on the subject of entertainment and the government now nah, it I, I say it definitely like i woke up this morning i had like this song stuck in my head it was a uh, we done came way too far by friday
Now it's not a bad song. It's actually a really it's it's a dope song. But I just didn't like the fact that it was stuck in my head when I woke up. Like, I woke up hearing the song in my head. I'm like, I don't like that, bro. I haven't listened to it in a little while. And I'm like, bro, like, I don't. It's the fact that I don't have my own thoughts in my head. I have someone else's words in my head right now. So imagine how that works when someone is listening to a song on a daily basis. Whether we had, like, Cardi B, 2020 WAP, uh, talking about what app, let's see, or, like, Cardi B's still going crazy. You got people listening to Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Sexy Red. Imagine what that's doing to their mind. When they're when it's getting caught in their head, stuck in their head. They're going to wake up wanting to do those things for the ladies. And then the dudes, same same exact thing. If you listen to like Lil Baby and it's like really stuck in your head, you're going to eventually like carry out what you're hearing in your head. That's just what's going to happen. So I, music is definitely a form of mind control, 100%. It's time for today's subscriber pick. Through the years, many have been astonished as the predictions and prophecies made by The Simpsons come to pass one by one. From the death of Kobe Bryant to an accurate prediction of a Super Bowl scoreline, the series has proven itself to be an accurate predictor of future events. Most people were especially blown away when their predictions of Trump running for the presidency in 2024 came to pass. While these happenings may all be phenomenal, we must understand that all these are simple coincidences. Or at least, that's what the producers would like us to believe. But there are conspiracy theories. Wild, wild ones that speculate that something else must be brewing behind the scenes. Do you think there is more to these accurate depictions? Or are they just simple coincidences like everyone wants to believe? Share your thoughts on this with us in the comment section. Now, back to the video. Definitely not Number 5. Willie Nelson Goes for a Swim not every single prediction from The Simpsons speaks of doom and the end of the world. Some are pretty much satirical, like this one, which aired in October 1991, where the iconic country singer-songwriter swam through the English Channel to the massive adoration of his fans. Willie Nelson is one of the most recurrent characters in the series, where he usually plays himself. But not everything about this series is made with utmost accuracy concerning dates, history, facts, and the perception of the future. Why the writers decided to include this skit of Willie Nelson swimming across the English Channel is unclear to us. But this is where we need to consider the fact that beyond the correct predictions and the accurate prophecies, The Simpsons is simply an animated movie, and the aim is not to tell you what the future holds. Some of these writers were just having fun as they wrote. So will Willie Nelson swim across the English Channel in real life in 2024? Well, probably. I don't know, but all I can tell you is that they have the whole Illuminati sign right here with the pyramid and the all C and I up top. Not. Why, you ask? He's 90 years old as it is now, so we're pretty sure such a daunting task is not high on his bucket list. Yeah, see how long his forearm hair is, bro? That is the longest forearm hair I've ever seen in my life. There's, there has to be no discussion about that, bro. This man got fur. That's not even forearm. Man. That's fur at this point. What if the he heck? ever decides to attempt such a feat, though, it would be a very interesting sight to witness. Number four, economic collapse. Okay, we're back to our predictions of doom and gloom. So, is the United States headed for a serious economic collapse that could send us right Possibly. back to times like the Depression? Economic analysts seem to think so. By studying the trajectory of the economic nosedive the country has taken, expert economists predict the United States could experience some really terrible times in the coming year. But let's face it, this is not a unique problem. Every single country in the world is going through hard times right now. With the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ukraine-Russia war and several other conflicts around the world, it's a miracle our civilization has not collapsed. So what exactly does this have to do with The Simpsons, you ask? Well, they warned us about it back in the year 2000 in an episode titled Bart to the Future. Now, you will agree that this is one of the most famous episodes in the series and a vocal point for many people who seek to extract prophecies from the series, just like us. But the accuracy is so unsettling. Get this, according to the episode, the economic collapse occurs during Donald Trump's presidency. Before you argue that Trump is not the current president, consider the fact that this former president is also contesting for presidency in 2020, so you can connect the dots from there. Spoken like a true conspiracy theorist, right? Well, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're also quite the conspiracy theorist yourself, aren't you? Number 3. World War III 
On November 22, 1987, a special episode of The Simpsons aired on The Tracy Ullman Show. And although it was very, very hilarious, there might be a hidden message in there somewhere. Before you accuse us of grasping for straws, consider the fact that many of the accurate predictions made in this show were sometimes simple side notes that nobody really paid attention to. Anyway, the episode centers around Homer Simpson repeatedly pranking his family with World War III scares. Many times during the episode, he would wake them up, asking them to rush into the fallout shelter as if it was the end of the world it's world war three ah! would a makeshift shelter in the house of an ordinary american man shield him and his family in the case of a nuclear fallout we'll leave that for the MythBusters to figure out while this episode was considered satire on the eventual occasion that a serious conflict between the world powers begins to play out many american households could find themselves reenacting the scenes in this episode as it stands we are way close number two Barbie movie release and Trump's arrest. Although this one is not really a prediction for 2024, it still deserves a mention because of how astonishing- Are we gonna leave that right there? So which one do y'all believe is most likely to happen in 2024? Comment that down below. If you guys didn't enjoy this video, make sure you do smash the like button. And another thing, how do you think The Simpsons has made the predictions that they have made in the past? How do you think they did that? Do you think it's a coincidence? Do you think they what do you think? Comment down below. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace. Love y'all.